always loved going to the doctor, actually. I thought it was really fun when someone asked me, like, how are you feeling? Oh, finally, someone cares, let me tell you. And so I really considered a career in medicine, but decided that none of the clinician roles made sense for me. And I thought, well, I'm good at math, so maybe I'll just study that and see how that goes. <laughs> Northeastern has this wonderful internship program where you do three six-month internships. I did my first one at this Partners Center for Genetic Medicine, but I was in the IT department. So that was both the, the medicine piece and the IT. And I heard about the Center for Biomedical Informatics at Harvard, and I went there for my last internship. We had seminar series, and we would have people coming in and talking about all of their different types of work. It was fascinating almost every single week. So I, I grew to really get excited about this work. I loved that there was finally a way that I felt like I could potentially do something in healthcare, do something useful in healthcare, getting a PhD. I wanted to stay East Coast, and I was talking to Zach Kohani, and he said, you have to apply to Columbia. It's a great school. I got an interview, I went there, and I just, I fell in love. The department is so warm. It's so collaborative. When you walk into the department, they have these beautiful pictures of all the graduates, of leaders in the field. And you're like, oh, this person? I read their paper last week. Or this person? They went here. And it's, it's hard not to want to go to Columbia after you see that. My focus was data mining of the medical record. The thesis that I ended up writing was a way to summarize health record data. You have lab data, you have med data, you have clinical notes that are written by physicians that most often are very difficult to read for any person that's not a clinician. You have billing codes. And so I found a way to summarize all of these different pieces of information to create a view of a patient. We have a great number of different people that come to biomedical informatics. Perhaps they're engineers or perhaps they're graphic design, like that kind of world where they want to figure out a new area to apply their techniques. So the field is wide open. Do I want to be a professor? Do I want to work at a hospital? Do I want to teach? Do I want to go to a startup? I had always wanted to do something in healthcare and be as close as I could to the patient. So joining the hospital was the next step towards that. The number one thing that I use daily from my education is the ability to think clearly and logically. We have the data, so what can we use? We also are looking at risk factors, so let's use our medical knowledge and identify which patients are more at risk inside the hospital so that we can intervene on those patients. We can potentially identify the patient that might be deteriorating. How do we actually get that notification to the right person at the right time and make sure that they're acting on that. My longer term dream is very aligned with the longer term dream of the field, which is we wanna transform healthcare.